go on hot air balloon rides and actually meet a man who can afford the moon. I want to feel the wind stuck in my fro as I smile convertible smiles at all those left behind. And I want to know how it feels to have dinner, see a play and have drinks without footing the bill. For once, I would like to chill with people who don't carry the weight of their world in their bags and their books or on their backs packed. And I'll admit, I wouldn't mind being showered with gifts and actually enjoying being part of the system. Not revolting or protesting or hurting, just chilling. Him spoiling, me enjoying. But sadly, it's the deep ones my heart always picks. <laughs> deep in poverty, I mean. <laughs> you see, you see, I need a poetry and fantasy, a world where Cinderella can be a part of Lumumba's reality and politics and music. And I need words that can connect the shape of my cheekbones to Italy or Gandhi or even autumn pine cones. I need a man who can make me laugh until I cry and cry until I smile and smile until I come and come until I shake and shake until I'm calm and kiss my forehead and say he knows just how I feel. It's sad because I am that cliche that we are one, you are I, and love doesn't start with the eyes, it starts with the stupid, bloody, misleading heart. So, so my heart bullies my soul into shaming my flesh for wanting Prada. Because my artist can't buy me Jimmy Choo's or take me on that expensive cruise and bless his art. But his art, it can never afford, that it can never afford American Express to forever profess Canary, diamond, platinum set engagement gestures. <laughs> you see, my poor artist will always be that employee who thinks he's his own boss, fighting a system that has him trapped at the bottom, mostly because he's so busy describing his struggle, he hasn't yet realized the exits at the top. <laughs> so, I do feel guilty, but Lord, please, please give me a B.E. who write me poetry, feed my spirituality, and still fulfill my most intimate hidden fantasy. at the F word. Let's talk about the me's in the room. Let's talk about how you're enticed by my ass as it June, July, August, September's past you or how you imagine you could lose yourself in my thighs. Mm, that warmth, that tenderness of home grown voluptuous pleasure. Let's talk about that. And then you can tell me you don't, you don't want to just fuck me, hold my hand in the dark, part my legs when the doors are locked. Let's talk about how you want me to be your fat fuck, your lady lumps, your big break, big mama, soft sister, plum pretzel. Hell, let's even talk about how I'm your full-figured fantasy, some passing craze story to tell the boys, 50 things to do before you die, fuck a fat woman. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. how great it would be to dig into my tunnel as my kitty cat wets your upstanding citizen until he erupts into rubbers of would have been fleshy fetus. You know, bang, bang, do 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 against the walls, you cushioned by all that ass. Or how about turning me inside out, legs wrapped around your shoulders, ass on the edge of the bed as you're cushioned by all that ass. Would that quench your thirst? make for a good experience. No, let's, let's talk about these things. Let's be open, and Diddy, that's what you want me to be, open. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how fat chicks are insecure, right? Needy, clingy, need some kind of reaffirmation so you can come and go as you please. Would I get it the other way around? We're tough, fucking run, that's how we like it. No, tell me. You tell me how I like it. Tell me what works for me. Maybe I'll light up a smoke or just just so you don't get the misconception that we just made love. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's talk fat, frankly. Yep. Mm. And before I go... <laughs> Last night I walked with Queen's Majesty of Zion, 
whose milk turned, gold turned, milk turned, blood hand stained. I walked with brides to immortality who preached the revelations of the second coming, queens whose hands soothed babies' wounds, write future script, create volcanoes of men's loins, queens whose hands cut strength from Samson's lock. And they shared with me the power of their thrones as we drank BC juice and ate 2015s from silver platters. Last night, I walked in the company of royals cut from shielding ribcage of Earth's first human heart. I shared a table with poets, poets whose dreams were manipulated to kill nations of Nongaosa's legacy. Poets whose courage endured to create billions of Oprah's empire. And against their warnings, I took the serpent's fruit. I buried my head in capitalist thighs and aborted Ubuntu from my womb. Last night, I shamed these queens when the word became flesh, when I drank panty-dropping lies until I was so drunk with hope, I lay passed out on reality's cold floor of truth. Yes, you see, last night Mary wept, Winnie broke, Mahogany wrote, and Mother Teresa bled as Sharon Nunn crossed her legs to Juliet's idealistic corpse under Stella's youth while Miriam sang Nolene's ignorance to Thatcher's demise. Oh. Mm -hmm. And after dinner this morning, delirious from her royal hangover, I had breakfast with kings. Surrounded by the heirs of the earth who sling slay giants head first, I sat with Guevara's and social revolutions, kings whose kisses put daughters to sleep, break sorrow's heart and make nipples stand on the edge of rivers unleashed, kings whose kisses betrayed the Messiah under a tree. And they shared with me the secrets of their majesty as we drank BC juice with honey and milk. This morning, I had breakfast in the company of royals. Blessed as their feet were first, this earth to touch, I shared a table with poets. Poets telling me that men would come from across the seas carrying unpunctured buttons to buy Madiba magic, bottomless bottles to drown Hector's bulleted history. Poets telling me that men would come from across the seas carrying endless pages so Winsigana's name would live on. And against their warnings, I took the serpent's fruit. I drank from BEE's cup. I opened my legs to the Lord of War and soaked in poverty's fertile juices. This morning, this morning, I drank democratic milk with all brands of exploitation until I threw up buckets and buckets of dependency on reality's cold floor of truth. Yes, you see, this morning Adolf ruled, Cain betrayed, Romeo died, and William wrote of how George invaded Tabo's Renaissance, stealing Denzel's Oscar with the same ignorance Mendoza used to nail Jesus to Mali's redemption. And it was then, then, in the company of royals, when my eyes devoured movies, my thoughts produced books, when my pen finally conquered the sword with eternity, I learned that I too have inherited this royal dynasty, that queens, kings, majesties live on, that my words will one day take up the throne. Thank you very much.